Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Streaming live on WWE Network. Tonight, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. We will crown the very first ever WWE Women's Tag Team Champions inside of an Elimination Chamber. These women are willing to do anything and everything to get an advantage. We take the next step in the women's evolution. WWE Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Streaming live on WWE Network. Tonight, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. Chamber pay-per-view streaming live on WWE Network tonight 7 Eastern 4 Pacific as always WWE Network is free for new subscribers Randy Orton AJ Styles Jeff Hardy and Kofi Kingston and Samoa Joe all wanting a piece of the WWE Champion none of you are getting an opportunity at this Daniel you will be taking on all of those superstars no! No! inside the Elimination Chamber. Daniel Bryan's WWE Championship is in dire jeopardy. WWE Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Streaming live on WWE Network. Tonight, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. inside of an elimination chamber. These women are willing to do anything and everything to get an advantage. We take the next step in the women's evolution. WWE Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Streaming live on WWE Network. Tonight, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. Chamber pay-per-view streaming live on WWE Network tonight 7 Eastern 4 Pacific Elimination Chamber kickoff. And the countdown, oh, it's on! We are less than 60 minutes away from history being made on the road to WrestleMania. The WWE Universe continues to file into this, the Toyota Center. Welcome to the Elimination Chamber kickoff show. There is that diabolical, unforgiving structure that tonight will change careers forever. Good evening, I am the coach and welcome to the Elimination Chamber kickoff show. Let's get to know our panel here tonight. A bunch of Hall of Famers. Oh, and there's Sam Roberts over there on the end. Ooh. That's right, lucky you. The last professional broadcaster is here as, of course, a guest of the WWE. I'm excited to be here. It's Elimination Chamber night, and I'm excited to be joined by the two Hall of Famers, Coach. Yeah, it is always nice to hear the voice of the fan. Now, to my immediate left, 
She will be a part of the commentary team tonight for the women's Elimination Chamber match. Of course, Hall of Famer Beth Phoenix. Coach, I'm so excited to have the best seat in the house. I mean, look at the structure that hangs high above the ring. It's an incredible night. We're going to tag. We're going to crown the very first women's tag team champions, and I cannot wait. I can only imagine the nervousness that's going on backstage. And finally, of course, we're in his hometown. His people are here. The one and only Hall of Famer Booker Thank you. T. Thank you very much. Thank you. You said a bunch of Hall of Famers. That would be three or four. There's only two <laughs> Hall of Famers here. Give me some, and there's. Uh, you two guys. I think uh, I'd rather be Iron Man out. Well, it was. <laughs> We're about to kick this smug off tonight. Yeah. Booker just drew the line in the sand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> clearly. Why are you here? Clearly. I'm the last he, professional broadcast. That's exactly right. All right. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that just last night. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. It was Let's, a heated conversation. <laughs> Let's get right to it. It all starts 7 Eastern tonight, 4 Pacific, streaming live on the WWE Network. And for weeks now, we've been talking about what's going to happen tonight. History will be made because tonight, the first ever WWE Women's Tag Team Champions will be crowned. There are the Tag Team Championships. And Beth Phoenix, for these six teams, I can only imagine what's going through their minds right now. Coach, this match has so much meaning for the women of WWE and the entire WWE Universe. Six teams will enter the Elimination Chamber and attempt to meld endurance, teamwork, and a whole lot of guts to crown the long-awaited WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. You know, this match right here, guys, is simple. The monster among men taking on the Baron, Baron Corbin, in a no-disqualification match. Somebody's gonna get the hell beat out of them. And then moving on, we've got Ruby Ryan. She set her sights on the WWE Raw Women's Championship as she challenges the dominant reign of Ronda Rousey. Can Ruby bring home the gold to the Riot Squad here in Houston where they, they debuted less than two years ago? But the women aren't the only ones competing for titles. Tonight, the SmackDown Tag Team Championship is on the line as supposed besties and definitely SmackDown Tag Team Champions Shane McMahon and The Miz step in to the Uso Penitentiary. The Intercontinental title is also on the line. It's a two-on-one handicap match. If Finn Balor can pin either Bobby Lashley or Leo Rush, he will become the Intercontinental Champion, but that's a tall order. Yes, indeed. Elimination Chamber match for the WWE Championship. AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. Jeff Hardy, Kofi Kingston, so amazing lately. The new Daniel Bryan, as well as the Viper Randy Orton, the precision tactician, Samoa Joe. Guys, this one is going to be good. Yeah, and we know that Randy Orton will be the last man to enter into the Elimination Chamber match. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet to the WWE Network, what are you waiting for? Go to WWENetwork.com. It is free for new subscribers. But in addition to that, if you order tonight, you also get WWE Fastlane in just three weeks for free as well. Now. The Elimination Chamber match, it changes lives, it changes careers. Earlier today, a dejected Mustafa Ali on not being able to perform and enter tonight the Elimination Chamber. I'm not medically cleared to compete tonight in the Elimination Chamber match. And you would think the most painful thing about all this would be the injuries, but it's not. No, man, it's it's watching. It's watching someone else take your place. Watching someone else take your opportunity. And listen, I got nothing but love for Kofi Kingston. In fact, I'm going to be rooting for you tonight, homie. But make no mistake about it, I will be back. And that same opportunity that got pried out of my hands, I'm going to earn that back. And I know none of this is going to be easy. I know there's plenty of bumps and bruises. I know there's more black eyes and broken bones coming my way. Hell, there's nothing easy about what we do inside that ring. But life ain't easy for those who dream. You have to feel bad for Mustafa Ali, but guys, on the flip side, Kofi Kingston stepped in last week 
He dazzled the entire WWE Universe. He lasted for over an hour. And tonight, Kofi Kingston will be in the Elimination Chamber match. You know, Kofi, it's unfortunate for Mustafa, Mustafa Ali because he's one of my favorites. I really think that he's, he's shined so much since he's been given that opportunity on SmackDown and 205 Live. But Kofi was there, and he took that opportunity when it was given to him. You know, and I mean, he got everybody talking. Why, why, why are we talking about Mustafa? You know, he's done. He's out right now. Yeah. We need to be talking about Kofi Kingston. Kofi T. Kingston, he's been with the New Day. He's been, you know, following, you know, the the, the, the cold order that, the, that we had back in the day. But right now, Kofi Kingston has a chance to go out on his own and go out there and do something special. Kofi Kingston has a chance to do something that he's been looking to do for a long time. I've been waiting on this moment. I'm excited. <laughs> and you speak for a lot of people in the WWE Universe. I mean, at the beginning of SmackDown this week, everybody, the WWE Universe was disappointed that Mustafa Ali wasn't in the match. By the end of the show, nobody cared. No, they, everybody they was about talking it. about Kofi Kingston finally getting this opportunity. He made a believer out of me, and he made a believer out of everybody by lasting over an hour. Well, let's keep in mind, over the years, when Kofi Kingston's been given an opportunity to show his skills in the Royal Rumble match, he's dazzled us all. And now it's an opportunity, on Tuesday on SmackDown Live, and now here tonight, to kind of break out of the New Day a little bit, at least for the time being, and show how great he is as an individual. You, yeah, know, you talk about the Royal Rumble. What happened at the Royal Rumble was Daniel Bryan showed all of us his ability to retain his championship. That's what Daniel Bryan's concentration is on I mean, right now, I mean, and I don't think it's going to change in I this mean, chamber. I mean, Daniel Bryan is a guy who has been doing one thing as of late, and that's going out and winning by any means necessary. I think he's going to come to the dance tonight. He's going to have that same mindset. He's going to have that same mentality. But right now, I could tell you, Daniel Bryan is in the back right now. He's thinking, what do I got to do to go out here and walk away tonight? Here in the H, baby, Houston, Texas, and still champion. It's one of those things, man. It's, it's, you got to be in the right place at the right time. There's no strategy going into a match like this. You got to have eyes in the back of your head, and I don't think Daniel Bryan can even prepare for something like that. Okay, for those people who may not know the Elimination Chamber match rules, let's go ahead and put them up and kind of take you through what will happen here tonight. Now, it begins with two superstars in the ring and four other superstars enclosed in their respective pods. Now, every five minutes, five minutes, a pod door will open at random, allowing another superstar to join the match. This process will continue until all the pods are empty. If at any time a superstar is pinned or submits, he is eliminated and must exit the chamber. This will continue until one superstar is left. And Beth, we do know that Randy Orton is the last person to go into the elimination chamber. And as Daniel Bryan contemplates his participation in this match, do you think it's a significant advantage for the Viper to be the last person in? You know, one would one would say so because Randy's going to be the freshest one entering. That's the advantageous, advantageous position, so to speak. However, we're talking about the elimination chamber, the most unpredictable, dangerous structure ever to be created in the WWE. I don't really know if there's any way to have an advantage. Uh, you know, I, I beg to differ. You know, anything can happen between that time before Randy Orton come out, one of these guys could get hurt, like Mustafa. One of these guys could go down, and it could be uh, a picking, right for the picking for a guy like Randy Orton, a guy who calculates, a guy who's always, th they don't call him the Viper for nothing, man. He will strike. And and he will strike hard, and he will strike quick. I think you got to go in with a strategy. I mean, Booker, you said you can't, but you didn't go in with a strategy when you fought in the Elimination Chamber, and what happened? I lost. You lost. <laughs> Daniel no, Bryan's going to have a little bit later. <laughs> While these six superstars mentally prepare for the Elimination Chamber, there's two other superstars who are preparing for each other. It's no disqualification. Braun Strowman and Baron Corbin. Here's the monster. I'm going to tell you a story about a coward who thought that he could challenge a monster. Now this just wasn't any ordinary coward. He was more like a snake, a sniveling, slithering kind of coward. But we didn't get... This coward did anything he could to try and stop the monster. And all he did was fuel the monster's rage. You better run! And 
this coward knew deep down that he could never win on his own, so he recruited others. Cowards, just like him. They thought that they had the monster down, but this wasn't an ordinary monster. The monster came back. The monster didn't forget. And the monster will make them all pay. So when the coward faces the monster tonight, the rule book goes out the window. There are no disqualifications, which means there can only be one way this story ends. The monster will continue rampaging on his path of destruction, and the coward, Baron Corbin, will get these hands. Oh, Braun Strowman continues to get ready for tonight, and there you see it inside the Toyota Center. That diabolical structure, the Elimination Chamber, is ready and willing. Now, let's take you back to SmackDown Live last week, a confrontation between the Usos and the SmackDown Tag Team Champs. You calling yourself the best tag team in the world? That's disrespectful. Standing in front of you right now is a true tag team. Then Sunday, we about to get real. Six times are coming soon. Shane, Miz, welcome to the Uso Penitentiary. Oh, with a mic drop, huh? The only thing that is real are these right here. You dig, Oos? Well, you gotta love Shane McMahon's moxie, but what happened after this? Oh! My God. A double super kick. You need more than moxie to stop a super kick. Well, clearly the Usos are ready and focused for tonight. Now look who's here. A tag team that knows all about wearing gold up, and knows guys? all about facing these two teams. Of course, the bar. When you look at this matchup here tonight, Sheamus, Cesaro, what do you think will go down? I well, think the Usos will win. I totally agree. When I look at like Shane McMahon and Miz, to me, it's like it's like the Mike Honcho effect. You know what I'm saying? The what? It's just like it's like watching TV and listening to the radio at the same time. It just doesn't work, Jonathan. <laughs> it doesn't work. But Barr, if 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 Shane and the Miz don't work, how did they beat you? Well, it was a fluke. Wow. It's quite it's quite simple. It was a fluke. You know? <laughs> of course it, it was. It what, what do you think? I mean, so that's why we we're rooting for the Usos tonight. Didn't you guys? lose to a 10-year-old kid at WrestleMania last year? Wow, he's really, oh, really? Oh, wow. He's really deep, 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 deep into the archives, aren't you? Right, okay. We, so we, we don't even acknowledge him. Yeah. 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 That wasn't a fair match because we were so put off by the child that was in the ring, you know? Yeah. It threw our game plan off. Braun Strowman knew he couldn't beat us on his own or with another partner, so he put a kid in there, which put us off. What do you think you're doing? Hey, what up, guys? We, uh, you guys were talking about it. I understand why you guys would pick the Usos. They're brothers, they're yeah. a unit, you know, but... Big unit. Heavy Machinery thinks that Mick Miz is gonna take this one for one reason and one yeah. reason only, not because, just like my man Otis here, they got the wild card. Yeah, Tucky, wild card, wild coming card. it all in. Wild card. Let, let me ask you guys real quick, did you even think twice about interrupting the former tag team champions of the world? Party early. Oh, of course they pick Miz. They want to suck up to the boss's son. Of course, well, you do come yeah. up with NXT and you know, all. Like we came out here because we want to make think a name for ourselves. Because we want to show the heavy machinery right? belongs That's in the right, tag team the division, whether it's Raw or SmackDown. And two weeks ago in that fatal yeah, pick a lane. Raw or SmackDown, pick one. You can't pick when I can't decide. Otis can't decide. Yeah, clearly not. They clearly have some yeah. trouble with deciding. Yeah. We feel like the people of the WWE Universe want Heavy Machinery to take their talents yeah. everywhere. Okay. Is that what you okay. think? Okay. Is that what you okay. think? Okay. 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 Thank you politely, for hours, politely. politely. No. They could go politely. over hours. I know, I know you could. could. I know you could. Hours, Just yeah. because you asked so right. nicely. All right. Liquor, we we need to segue Oakland. away from this. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Let's go, go back Booker to Monday Night on Raw. Booker T. 
Mr. McMahon made a shocking announcement to the WWE Universe. Yeah. So before you actually do something silly out there, I'll let, let me get this off my chest. I think that Stephanie's right. That could be one of the greatest main events of all time. It could be. But Becky, I think you think you're bigger than WWE. You've got an attitude, you got a bad attitude. You're not the man, I'm the man. <laughs> Becky, you're suspended for 60 days. Let's see, that suspension runs out, oh, five days after this WrestleMania. We need someone to take your place, someone with charisma, someone with charm, someone who knows their lane and they stay in it. We need someone who's gonna take Ronda to the limit. We need Charlotte Flair. And clearly the man, Becky Lynch, was upset that her opportunity had been taken from her by Mr. McMahon. But then, let's fast forward to last night. At a WWE Live event in Louisiana, Becky Lynch showed up during Charlotte Flair's match. And Beth, what happened after this well, not good for Becky Lynch. Coach, it was nothing but an outpouring of, an emo of emotion. Becky Lynch being denied her opportunity at WrestleMania that she earned by winning the Women's Royal Rumble, unloading on Charlotte Flair. She was so hurt and angry at the decision that Mr. McMahon made, and there's no love lost between these two. Unfortunately, Charlotte re-aggravating a left knee injury on Un Becky Lynch. Unfortunate. She's suspended and obviously hurt, and she's showing up to live events anyway. I mean, this is... What did you think was gonna happen if you showed up? If anybody jumps out of the crowd, Charlotte's gonna beat their brains in, and that's what she did to Becky. Sam, yeah. we're talking about WrestleMania on the line here, and uh, if you ask me, Becky Lynch was robbed. Just plain and simple. Rob, well, she, she was robbed. Maybe she was robbed, maybe she wasn't robbed, but regardless of if she was robbed, she wasn't booked for that show. And she shows up anyway, she interrupts Charlotte's match, and then we all act like we feel sorry for her because her leg that was already injured is injured again. I think we've got to give Charlotte Flair a lot of credit. She did what she had to do. Of course, the look, boss made look, his decision. Look, let me tell you something. Becky Lynch made the choice to jump in the ring there, okay? You big enough to pass a lick, you big enough to take one. That's just the way it go. As far as the injury goes, one goes down, one steps up. Everybody already talking about Becky Lynch might be too big for her britches already anyway. So, hey, there it is. All right, I can say this, that we don't know how severe that knee injury is for Becky Lynch. She left the arena on crutches. Now, it's not a foregone conclusion that Ronda Rousey leaves tonight the Raw Women's Champion. Very arena. The WWE Universe is introduced to the riots. Um, Houston, we have a problem. Because let me tell you, time flies when you're wreaking havoc. And not only have we wreaked havoc, we've done it together. We do everything together. I mean, we even tattooed our debut date together. 11, 21, 17. But we didn't get these matching tattoos so forever prove that we're besties. We got these matching tattoos to remind you that you've been warned. And tonight, it comes full circle. <laughs> the road to WrestleMania takes a diabolical detour when I strip Ronda Rousey of her arrogance and her raw women's championship. And when Sarah and I unleash a hailstorm of havoc, in the Elimination Chamber to become the first ever WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. The squad is walking away here with a hole. <laughs> oh. I remember your debut <laughs> because I was on the wrong end of it. Squad goals, right? Yeah. Ruby, I want you to take all that anger and aggression and take it all out on Ronda Rousey tonight. And listen, Houston is where I won my first title. <laughs> so tonight you have the opportunity to be just like the queen. Change the game, win, and face me on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. So tonight, I'll be sitting ringside with a bird's eye view of all the action. Good luck. All right, there's a lot to talk about from what we just saw right there. First and foremost, it seems like to me that Charlotte Flair would like nothing more than for Ruby Riot to shock the world here tonight, walk out, 
the Raw Women's Champion and go to WrestleMania to face wow. Ruby Riot. You know what? You're a genius. <laughs> yeah, duh. You're a genius. I mean, why, why, would, why would Charlotte not want that to happen? Of course Charlotte wants Are that to happen. Are you shortchanging Ruby Riot? That's what I was trying to get to before I was so rudely interrupted. But go ahead, Sam. I would say that, that Ruby Riot is an opponent that, that Charlotte would want instead of Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania. I think that's a pretty safe assumption. And I think that in order for Ruby Riot to beat Ronda Rousey tonight, she's going to need a lot of help. Charlotte is a lot of help. Well, it's going to be interesting to have Charlotte Flair at ringside. I'm assuming she has a front row ticket because where else would she sit? But to have such a big star over your shoulder, do you think it's going to be distracting to Ronda Rousey to have Charlotte Flair out there tonight? You know what, I think Ronda Rousey has taken everything that's thrown at her with, with grace and focus. I mean, she's, she's such an incredible athlete, an Olympic level athlete. And every time we've put an obstacle in front of Ronda, she's proved her worth. She's yeah, proved yeah. the hype is real. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I don't think this is going to be any different. One would think Ronda Rousey would look past Ruby Riot, you know, just because what she is on the totem pole as far as where Ronda Rousey has been as far as ascending. Uh, but, but I tell you, um, Ronda Rousey is the most focused individual I've seen step inside of WWE ring. She's done nothing but win, and we all know that. Just look at her record since day one, and tonight I don't think it's going to be any different. Ruby Riot is a, uh, definitely a great opponent, but I don't think she's going to have a chance tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of amazing when you look at the fact that a year ago at the last Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, Ronda Rousey was signing her contract. Mm -hmm. She had done nothing in the WWE yet, and in a year, Look at what we've seen from Ronda Rousey, and I think that's why Charlotte is looking at her going, you know what, maybe I'd rather have a Ruby Riot in the ring at WrestleMania, and I don't blame her. Well, let's think about this. If the chips fall the right way tonight, we know that if you're in the Elimination Chamber match book, you all know this, that it all depends on when you go in, who's in there once you get in. If the chips fall the right way, the Riot Squad could walk out tonight with all the gold. You know, and that's the one thing you can't forget about. You can't forget about the squad. You know what I mean? Anything could happen in a matchup like this. I mean, like you say, Charlotte Flair will be sitting at ringside. That's a lot of variables at play here in this in this matchup tonight. But uh, let's think about the one-on-one -on -one contest. Let's think about Ronda Rousey. Let's think about Ruby Rye going out there, uh, matchup head-to-head. -head. I, I, I think Ronda Rousey walks away. So if Ruby don't get a little bit of help, it's going to be a quick night. I'm talking about submission, arm bar, we going home. Yeah, but you know, Ronda's used to competing in an octagon environment, in a one-on-one -on -one environment. You're right, Coach. She's not used to having the Riot Squad and Charlotte Flair and all these faces right outside the ring. I think they're going to be a tremendous distraction. And if there's one muscle that Ronda doesn't have as well as some others, it's probably the one that's in her head. It's well, the brain. Oh. I disagree with that, Sam. I disagree, I think she's, I disagree with that, I mean, <laughs> I mean, this guy growing a beard, man, all of a sudden, you know, he's saying, I, I oh, think we all, we all disagree with that. theories. I mean, what is the deal here? I mean, come on. Well, no doubt the distractions tonight, focus, will certainly be um, a focus for both of these, Ruby Wright and Ronda Rousey, with the Raw Women's Championship on the line. Let's segue now. Let's go three weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. The one-on-two uh, focus as Bobby Lashley and Finn Balor, and then Bobby Lashley and his mouthpiece just absolutely destroyed Finn Balor. I thought that particular night really for no reason. I mean, come on, Balor had been destroyed just 24 hours by Brock Lesnar. You gotta be kidding me, right? The guy was already hurt. He was already beat up. He was already bruised, battered, and torn. You gotta be kidding me, huh? Well, we see Finn Balor the hands of Bobby Lashley that's announced his, tonight. That's, that's his reaction. Well, no, somebody <laughs> has to keep this train on the track. I'm just <laughs> saying, man. I'm just saying, man. I mean, I mean, let's talk about what Ben Balor had been through. I mean, the guy's a warrior. The guy's look, a guy that goes out there and look, fight. On look, he's got to be able to take care of these two guys. He's fighting both of them tonight. Here's the thing with Finn Balor that drives me crazy, and I think drives a lot of people in the WWE universe What's crazy. That? It's the same mistake he made at, Wrestle, uh, at Royal Rumble. For some reason, and he made the mistake at WrestleMania, quite frankly, for some reason he can't win big matches unless he's got paint on. Unless the demon comes out here, you see demon shirts everywhere. You see demon action figures on all the shelves, and we don't see the demon. The demon never comes out on TV anymore. And guess what else never happens? What's Finn that? Balor never wins big matches. Uh, you know, He's an extraordinary man that does extraordinary that, things. Just, I hear it every that, that week. I haven't seen him do anything that, 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 extraordinary. That could simply be a coincidence. I haven't man. seen I mean, him anything do anything extraordinary without 
face let, paint and the streamers. Bring the demon out. Let, let's couple out with tonight. the fact he that Bobby Lashley, since Leo Rush became his mouthpiece, his sidekick, his guy, has been nearly unstoppable. 100%. So I don't think it has anything to do with Finn Balor and and what you're talking about. The I Demon think it has is everything more to do with the Intercontinental The Demon champion. is the one that's unstoppable. The Demon won the Universal Championship. And the Demon held the NXT Championship for Lord knows how long. The Demon is unstoppable. We've just all forgotten it well, well, because we don't let, see let, him. Bring him out. Hey, hey, look here. The Demon is not here tonight. Finn Balor is here tonight. Finn that's Balor the issue. Is He's not going to win a championship. in the middle of the ring with the champ. And it's going to be a great night for one of these two individuals. I think it's going to be Bobby Lashley. I think it's safe to say that uh, Leo Rush needs to be isolated by Finn Balor in order for him to have a chance and win the Intercontinental Championship. That's just one of the big matches coming up later tonight at the Elimination Chamber. One on two for the Intercontinental title. The WWE Universe doesn't care about you. But they don't even know you. Well, who the hell are they? And why do they matter? Huh? They don't like the face that they see? <laughs> well, I don't either! It's time to show they. The real you. Tonight, we make history. You know, I, I feel so humbled in knowing that I've played such a large role in making this happen. I mean, if you think about it, I'm kind of like the lucky charm of the women's division, you know? Ever since I've debuted, we've had Money in the Bank ladder matches, Hell in a Cell matches, the first ever all-women's pay-per-view WWE Evolution. Ever since I've debuted, our division has been on fire. Fire. Speaking of fire, Miss Straight Fire Becky Lynch. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's not my place to say, but I don't know, maybe if she would have taken my advice, she'd still be walking around here talking about selling out WrestleMania. But instead, she went and got herself suspended. It's a shame, really. Oh well, so it's not about Becky. So it's not even about me. It's about crowning our first ever WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. And you know, being the winner of the first Women's Elimination Chamber, I kind of know winning a team when I see one. The goddess doesn't play favorites. She picks them. And my pick as the first ever Women's WWE Tag Team Champions is Tamina and Nia Jax. And this has been your moment of bliss. Interesting pick by one Alexa Bliss. Surprising. Yeah. But interesting. And there are the first ever WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. And there is so much energy in this building and nationwide as people have been talking about history being made. And Beth, you've been such a big part of the women's evolution and the revolution as it continues to grow. And tonight's gonna be another one of those special nights. I say it a million times, I have two little girls of my own. That's why this all means so much more to me. The path to the women's tag team championships began with the, the jumping bomb angels, the glamour girls. We have generations of women that have worked and wanted this. We lobbied for this, my generation. We're so excited and so happy to see this happen. And what a, you, could, you, could you pick a grander stage than the elimination chamber to do this? All right, so let's talk about the match itself, okay? There's only four women that have experience inside of the chamber. That's Sonya, Mandy Rose, and also Sasha and Bailey. And to throw in the fact that they're now battling for tag team titles, that throws another wrench into the works. How do you think the mental preparation and strategy will play into this match here tonight? Well, there's so many layers to this, and these two teams met in the previous Elimination Chamber. It wasn't a tag team situation, but as singles competitors, and so many things unraveled, friendships, loyalties. But in this situation, not only do you have to watch your back, but you have to keep an eye on your partner's back. Your partner could get pinned right behind you, and you're out, you're eliminated, your dreams are dashed. 
There's so many layers mm -hmm. to this match that it makes it really difficult to prepare for. Well, let me ask you this, and, and, and Booker, you'd probably be the one to ask, because like you just of said, course, Sasha and course, Bailey of course. Just that, have experience. Tag team, right? You're a tag team experience, you have Elimination Chamber yeah, experience. Exactly. We saw Sasha on Raw, she just, she just got cleared from an injury. Just got cleared. She's walking into the Elimination Chamber. We don't know what kind of condition she's in. We just know she's at least at the bare minimum that she can compete. Bailey's gonna have to be the boss now. Sasha can't be the boss on this team. It's gonna have to be Bailey. She doesn't, Sasha historically has not been great in those scenarios. Yeah, they're coming the in, let's let's talk, they're coming in, wait, they're about. coming in at number one. They're the first team in there. We found that out on Raw too. How do they survive? Well, let, let me tell you, one thing, one thing about this man, uh, adrenaline could take you a long way. Uh, a match like this, uh, it, it could take you a long way. Tonight, history will be made. And, and when history is made, that puts you in, in, a, in a place where, you know, only few get a chance to go, uh, like myself, you know, like Beth over here. You feel me? You know what I mean? So tonight, it's all about how much one can take. And um, can those two ladies come out and take, take it? I think so. How much wow. does the Elimination Chamber play in to your psyche and what happens when you go in? We got about 20 oh, seconds. Oh man, of course, man. I mean, you gotta think about the steel. You gotta think about the rebar. You gotta think about the chain leap. It's gonna be uh, one of those things where you're gonna go through a, a lot of hell, but you know, at the end of that rainbow, it's a pot of gold, baby. <laughs> yeah, I know there are six teams tonight that are all set to be crowned the team. And by the way, Sam, I'm a former tag team champion of the world too. I'm just saying. Oh, technically. All right, it's time for action here on the Elimination Chamber kickoff. Te so it's in ringside. Talking about his <laughs> nose. Well, no doubt, guys, history will be made, as Booker T said, but Cruiserweight Championship's about to be on the line. Guys, who's walking out Cruiserweight Champion? I'm going to go with the champion. I think Tazawa has given up too much size and too much power. I don't know. I think Tazawa has been on a roll as of all of 2019. I think tonight is his night. Well, it is time for the first of six championship matches tonight at Elimination Chamber. The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Kobe, Japan, weighing it at 156 pounds, Akira Tozawa. Well, I think to Nigel's point, a lot have been well, questioning Akira Tozawa. Let's go back two weeks ago on 205 Live when Tozawa qualified for this match. It was an incredibly tough fatal four-way elimination match, and then wham! With that, Akira Tozawa would set up for this. And here is the big senton that solidified Akira Tozawa's place tonight here for his first ever one-on-one -on -one matchup with the champion. Buddy Murphy. And for Tozawa, it's his first one-on-one -on -one title opportunity in over 15 months. And the WWE Universe still filing into the Toyota, Toyota Center here in Houston, getting ready for the Cruiserweight Championship. As you can see, 25 minutes to the official start of the Elimination Chamber. Tozawa is ready tonight, Aiden. Absolutely. You've got to be ready for a chance like this. And his opponent from the Australia, weighing in at 203 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Buddy Murphy! Nigel, you've been a supporter of Buddy Murphy for a very long time. Murphy claims to be the greatest cruiserweight ever. Well, we are in the Lone Star State, and Murphy perhaps considers himself the Lone Star of 205. We only need to listen to what he said last Tuesday. He said, I'm not competing with Akira Tozawa. I'm not competing with 205 Live. I'm competing with history. And to that point, 134 days as Cruiserweight Champion. That's 62 days away from the longest reigning champion in history. We mentioned the history that'll be made tonight in the Elimination Chamber, the crowning of the first ever women's tag team champions. Well, history could be made tonight. Akira Tozawa could become the third superstar to hold the Cruiserweight title twice in the modern era. To get by the champion, the dominant, redoubtable Buddy Murphy is going to be a big Ooh. test for this young man from Japan. Well, Aiden, I'll ask you this about Akira Tozawa. You know, what is he going to have to do to take down Buddy Murphy? 
Akira Tozawa is going to have to bring a different strategy to the table than a lot of people have with Buddy Murphy. He's faced high flyers. He's faced the best strikers in the world. He's going to have to bring something different oh. to the table, like this kind of submission strategy that he's working on the wrist of the champion. I think he's going to get a submission from a simple wrist lock against a man like Buddy Murphy. I think if you are a kid, oh. you're in for a tough night and a long night yeah. because it's going to be a really big test, I think, for Akira Tozawa. Buddy Murphy's workout partner, Tony Nese, tweeted his confidence earlier tonight. And Murphy kind of just shrugging off these chops. And Nigel Tozawa was known for being a feared striker. Well, those strikes having very little effect on the champion. Ooh. Just irritating Murphy more than anything. Absolutely. Murphy now. Oh, and Tozawa continuing to light up the chest of Buddy Murphy. And now Murphy looking, oh, oh, looking to answer back. Murphy right into the steel post. Murphy maybe letting get it, letting that irritation get the better of him and taking a wild swing. Well, you, saw, you saw Murphy kind of wiggle his hands, Nigel, for a moment as Murphy just plants Tozawa. And he's still shaking but, that. Yeah. Hand. Murphy holding on to the fingers. And Tozawa now showing that quickness and that elusiveness, sending Murphy to the outside. Tozawa, ooh. Oh, we've seen this before. Getting fired up. Tozawa looking to fly. And to oh, Tozawa oh ju just got caught. And oh! The absolute strength of the unstoppable Buddy Murphy. And Kira Tozawa giving up 47 pounds in weight to Buddy Murphy. And you could saw it, see there the power advantage. Buddy Murphy just catching Akira Tozawa out of mid. Check this out one more time, guys. Listen to this impact. His feet never hit the ground. Bam! Again, unbelievable. Look at to oh, Tozawa wait a is hurt. Understanding right now this Cruiserweight title will continue, but, but let's go backstage right now to Kayla Braxton, who I believe is trying to get a word with Kofi Kingston, who will compete in the WWE Championship Elimination Chamber match. As Kofi Kingston and, and Caleb Braxton will go back in just one moment as, again, staying live with you, Buddy Murphy has really turned the complexion of this matchup around. Those strikes, look at, Nigel, look at Having Tozawa's very little back. effect, just flying off of the chest of the champion. Guys, right now I understand. Let's go back to Caleb Braxton, who's standing outside of New Day's locker room. I was hoping I could get a quick word with Kofi Kingston before his WWE Championship opportunity tonight inside the Elimination Chamber. Uh, Kofi is indisposed right now. He's in there with his... Well, uh, Mr. Bootyworth is giving him one of his world-famous massages with the finest maple syrups from deep in the Himalayas. It's filled with minerals. Mm -hmm, yes. But uh, we're good to speak on his behalf. Well, this past week on SmackDown Live, Kofi put on quite the performance in that gauntlet match lasting an entire hour. Now, do you think lasting so long hurt his chances in winning the WWE Championship tonight. Uh, well, look, Kofi has never had a problem with his endurance. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, let me break it down for you. People have been sleeping on Kofi his entire career. Think about it. Before myself and E were even a part of WWE, Kofi had already had a long, storied, incredible career. And it's to the point now where, as his partners, even sometimes we forget that we are squatted up with a living legend. Now think about this. When you look at last Tuesday night, when he lasted over an hour in that gauntlet match, it reminds every single person in the WWE universe just how good Kofi Kingston really is. And so tonight, the prophecy of the new day shall be realized. The mantra of the new day shall finally come to fruition, and that is that Kofi Kingston will become your new WWE. World Heavyweight Champion! <laughs> because. Go. Be rock. Come on, Kayla. Go. Be rock. Yeah. Go. Be rock. Yeah. Go. Be rock. Well, no doubt Kofi Kingston is going to have to have a Herculean effort again tonight if he wants to walk out of the Elimination Chamber WWE Champion. But right now it's Tozawa who's trying to walk out as Cruiserweight Champion. Absolutely, Tozawa's been fighting from underneath this entire time, attempting at times to work that submission strategy oh. against... Oh. 
That super kick just buckled the champion's knees. And Tozawa is still feeling the effects of that lower back after that huge suplex early on in the matchup. Absolutely, it's hard to shake off a gigantic maneuver like that. But as we see, Tozawa is still fighting, landing that massive kick, stopping the unstoppable in his tracks. Huge opportunity for Akira Tozawa here. Tozawa with Murphy in his sights. Murphy able to counter one more time. Oh, Tozawa. Educated feet always coming into play for Tozawa. And now Tozawa all the way to the top rope, looking down, missile drop kick connects. The champion is rocked. The challenger closing in, and this time, pump kick connects to the jaw. Kick after kick after kick, breaking down the unstoppable here. And one more time, Tozawa looking in, connects to the midsection. Misses wildly into the Murphy, holding on to Tozawa. Tozawa landing on his feet. Oh! Backdrop driver, high angle between the shoulder blades. Oh, Shining Wizard connects. Murphy could be out. Titles on the line. Do we have a new champion? And Murphy just kicks out at two. Nigel, that was close for Tozawa. Very much so, but if you take a look at the face of Akira Tozawa now, there is perhaps a moment of doubt there. But could he be setting up for that? infamous senton that got him here tonight. Well, Murphy is in position with WrestleMania on the horizon. Murphy's not moving. Can Tozawa claim the cruiserweight crown tonight? Murphy had it scouted. But Tozawa had him scouted as well. Oh! Murphy answers with a right foot. A little bit of separation now for the champion. Who gets caught again? Back and forth. Each time somebody counters, the other counters back. Although this is the very first ever singles match between these two competitors, they know each other very well. And Murphy able to knock down Tozawa, but look at Tozawa continuing to fight the stamina monster, showcasing it tonight, but look at the strength. Oh, what a counter! Tozawa, champions down, cover! Murphy oh. again Good. kicks out at two. Can you believe... I? There was no way I thought Murphy was kicking out of that. Nigel, was that doubt sinking into Tozawa's eyes or frustration after you take a look at this? Look at the way here. Tozawa Bam. reversed the momentum there. Certainly was not the time of his life for the champion. And the story of this match has been counter for counter. This indeed is awesome. This is what 205 Live is all about. The champion, Buddy Murphy, his title on the line against challenger Akira Tozawa. And Tozawa, look how quick. We talked about the quickness of Tozawa early on. Nigel, you brought it up. Tozawa with determination in his eyes. Flies, gets caught. Murphy rolls through. But there's the strength and the power of the champion on clear display. Oh, well, Murphy could be trying to go for Murphy's Law, countered by Tozawa. Tozawa again oh. gets caught. And, oh, drop knee first. Oh, speaking of a knee. And look at the transition by the champion. Into cover. the cover. Title on the line, and Tozawa's dreams continue. The fighting spirit of Akira Kira Tozawa will not give in. Well, look at the eyes on the face of the challenger there. But the champion's got to be at a loss himself after that incredible combo of strength and speed himself. He was still not able to put Tozawa away. The champion, I think, has got to be fortified from that, getting that close and looking at his opponent now flat on the mat. But what does he got to do? That's the question. What does he have to do to put Tozawa away for good? He hasn't hit his finishing maneuver yet. Murphy just talking trash now to Tozawa. Well, look at Akira Tozawa, who's been through so much in 2018. What a way for 2019 to begin for Tozawa. Wait a second. Look at Tozawa. Oh! That Bushido fighting spirit. And the jab counter. Oh. And Tozawa getting lit up now by Buddy Murphy. Oh, that time. Tozawa connects. And rocks the champion. Murphy is down. Tozawa trying to capitalize. And for that German suplex, Murphy wasn't going to let him have it. Almost out of desperation, the champion counters it oh. in a clothesline. Murphy turned inside out. 
Tozawa trying to keep the foot on the gas. Can he get Murphy up and over? Shoulders down. Is it enough? And Murphy again just kicking out. What a German suplex by Tozawa. Uh, great tenacity from both champion and challenger. Now, I'll, I'll go back and ask you both. Go back to that suplex early in the matchup. How is that affecting Tozawa's back maybe on that bridge? That's a great point there, yeah. With the back of Akira Tozawa was driven into the mat on the outside earlier on. Was unable to get the full strength of the bridge, perhaps. Tozawa trying to feed off the energy that WWE Universe had still filing in to the Toyota Center here in Houston. And one more time, looks like he, he's attempting, but Buddy Murphy's there, maybe he's trying to stop the climbing attempt of Tozawa to go up for that That's a great point, and again for the second time, Murphy. An Mur act of desperation by the champion, and now look at the challenger stopping away. The relentless Tozawa going to the top, Murphy oh, caught him. Before. Tozawa's caught. Oh, Tozawa. Super kick. Somewhat to Murphy now. Inverted oh. Hurricane Rana. Champion is on rubber legs. It back to the outside goes Murphy. Serendipitous for Murphy. Tozawa flying through the air. Tozawa's got to get Murphy back into the ring. Title can't change hands. Here goes, he's going again. On a count out. And again, Tozawa. Two times the charm for the one time he couldn't get it earlier. Now he gets him back in the ring. And now it's Tozawa. Again, pinfall or submission. Only way Tozawa can win the Cruiserweight Championship. Tozawa looking down and Tozawa, oh, again Murphy, sensing what was coming and now oh, Murphy's prone. What is this? Tozawa. Oh, down across the back of Murphy. Is it enough? Do we have a new champion here at Elimination Chamber? Murphy again somehow kicks out it. Look at this. Up goes Tozawa and Bam, with all that weight, right into the lower back. That's the back since on that we are very familiar, but I've got to be honest, I think the middle rope had more give than the mat, and that enabled the champion to kick out. But he tilted over, and he might have crushed onto those shoulders up high, higher than he might on a normal senton. I don't know. Oh. Tozawa is on one heck of a roll right now. Well, Tozawa trying to dig down deeper than... No, oh, what a jumping knee! I don't know how Tozawa was standing for that long. And Murphy now, it's looking Kibbit. to lock in Murphy's law. Countered by Tozawa, shoulders down, title on the line. Champion kicks out again at two. Up and around Tozawa, and Tozawa transitions. He's, he's, he's looking for that. Trying for the submission. Iron Octopus, he's got it, the yes! Iron Octopus locked in. Is Murphy gonna tap out? There's nowhere for Murphy to go. He's got it locked in deep. He's torquing that arm, torquing that wrist. And the oh, swing yes. to Murphy, hoisting up again. Tozawa in this time, Murphy's Law connects! Champion into the cover, and Murphy's reign continues. Here is your winner and still, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Buddy Murphy! Nigel, what a championship match. Well, Buddy Murphy said before, I won't be looking past you, I'll be looking through you. Tozawa made him eat those words, but nonetheless, the champion retains the title. Take nothing away from Tozawa, but Murphy remains unstoppable and clears yet another obstacle on his own road to WrestleMania. Randy Orton, AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, and Kofi Kingston, and Samoa Joe, all wanting a piece of the WWE Champion. None of you are getting an opportunity at this! Daniel, you will be taking on all of those superstars no! No! inside the Elimination Chamber. Daniel Bryan's WWE Championship is in dire jeopardy. WWE Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, streaming live on WWE Network. Tonight, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. Hello, WWE Universe. This is Kevin Owens. Hopefully you already knew that. Uh, I just finished rehab for the day and now I'm heading home. I picked up a pizza as you can see so that uh, my family and I could share that while we watch the Elimination Chamber. I'm pretty excited about watching this. You know, the Elimination Chamber is one of my favorites to watch, but uh, I got to admit it kind of hurts that I won't be in it. 
In fact, I've never had the chance to compete in uh, an elimination chamber match before, which makes it sting even more. But, you know, as I've said before, doctors are saying my rehab's going well. And uh, right now they're saying I'm still about a month away, which is quite frustrating. But look, all you need to know is that the Kevin Owens show <laughs> is coming back very soon. And now as far as tonight is concerned, I'm looking forward to watching my buddy Finn win the Intercontinental title. I'm w looking forward to watching every member of the Riot Squad walk out of the respective matches as champions Although I have, I have to say it's going to be a bit hard to explain to my kids who are huge Becky Lynch fans why she's not competing tonight and, and, and why she won't be competing at WrestleMania. But, you know, it's, it, it's also hard to explain why my, my kids like having pineapple on their pizzas. Oh. 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 Nope. No, I don't get it. Anyway, enjoy Elimination Chamber. I know I will. Oh, oh, oh. I don't like pineapple on my pizza either. I, well, I love pineapple on pizza. <laughs> yeah. well, it looks really good. <laughs> the road to WrestleMania will go directly through that structure right there. The Elimination Chamber, a sadistic metal structure that makes even the toughest, toughest of men think twice about entering again tonight. The WWE Champion Daniel Bryan has this deck stacked against him. Daniel Bryan is the planet's champion. But the truth is, I am a hypocrite because I carry around this. This is a symbol of excellence, but it is also a symbol of excess. This symbol is trash. This is the new symbol of excellence. This is your new WWE Championship. AJ Styles. Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy, Kofi Kingston, and Samoa Joe, all wanting a piece of the WWE Champion. None of you are getting an opportunity at this! Daniel, you'd be taking on all of those superstars inside the Elimination Chamber. This is the house that AJ Styles built. I am Jack Jason Black. I came to put a champion to sleep. So I have walked a tight road for 20 years, and I still live for the moment. Waiting too long, I've worked too hard. It has to be now. I don't care about you. What I do care about is that title you have on your shoulder. The stakes couldn't be much higher. This is by far the harshest of the detours, the destructive elimination chamber. All of them want to win the WWE Championship and take it backwards. Well, I can't have that. Because the planet needs the new Daniel Bryan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome WWE Hall of Famer, and Texas's very own Mark Henry. Mark, you've been in the Elimination Chamber before, so what would you say it is about this match that makes it so unique? 
You know what? Uh, first of all, I'm just happy to be back in my home state of Texas. Hey, and by the way, can we give it up one more time for the Cruiserweight Championship that just happened? Whoa! But that, that elimination chamber, it, it's a different animal in itself. And, you know, every man that goes in, it comes out different. Absolutely. Well, tonight we know that there are two elimination chamber matches. So who do you think is going to walk out of one of those matches as the first ever women's tag team champions? Uh, you know what? I, I, I have my own choice, and I, I'm going to go with the Iconics. Is that all right? Got some booze. I'm not used to getting booed now. Cut it out. Yeah, a little bit of a mixed reaction there. Okay, now as far as the other Elimination Chamber match, who do you think is going to walk out as the WWE Champion? I feel like I'm on Jerry Springer. Uh, I mean, after, after last week's result with Kofi Kingston, it would be hard for me not to pick Kofi. Uh, he, it was an unbelievable match that he did. Uh, he fell short, but he made me a believer again. But I must say, if I was in the Elimination Chamber match, there would be a lot of other men introduced to the Hall of pain. Before we get started here tonight, I tell you what, let's start with history being made tonight. WWE Women's Tag Team Champions crowned for the first time inside of that. Guys, it's right here in front of us. The Tag Team Championship for the women. We've been waiting for this. Six teams. I think it's time we put those championships around a couple of women's waists. You know, I'm proud of being a tag team specialist myself, seeing the ladies finally you know, get their just due. Being a tag team, history will be made tonight, guys. Mark my words, that's the match that's going to steal the show. That roster is incredible. This match will steal the show tonight. All right, let's flip the script on the men's side of things. WWE Championship, Daniel Bryan. Can it get any worse when it comes to odds for the champion? I, I got to tell you guys, the, the roster of talent in that ring is going to be incredible. I think Daniel Bryan has his work cut out for him. But I got to tell you, my heart's still with Jeff Hardy. He, you know, I think if there's going to be one person that, that can pull it out with his unorthodox ways, it's going to be Jeff. Momentum. Momentum. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a roller coaster. Kofi Kingston, man. I think tonight is going to be Kofi Kingston night. He's going to cash in. Daniel Bryan is familiar with not having great odds. He's going to win tonight. Sam Booker, Beth, thank you very much. We know this. The Elimination Chamber is undefeated. It's a structure that is diabolical. It changes lives and it has changed careers. It's unwavering. It's unforgiving. It's unpredictable. Settle in. It's time for a night where history will be made and the road to WrestleMania could take a hard right turn. The Elimination Chamber is next. Randy Orton, AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, and Kofi Kingston and Samoa Joe all wanting a piece of the WWE Champion. None of you are getting an opportunity at this! Daniel, you will be taking on all of those superstars no! No! inside the Elimination Chamber. Daniel Bryan's WWE Championship is in dire jeopardy. WWE Elimination Chamber pay-per-view streaming live on WWE Network tonight, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers.